After nearly a year of waiting for the specs, details, and form of the next generation Xbox, the codename Project Scarlet, Anaconda, and now Xbox Series X has been fully revealed, fully opened, put back together, and outlined in an exclusive first look with tech experts Digital Foundry. And after this week, we'll know exactly what powers, how immersive, and how responsive Next Generation will be thanks to the all-new, fully realized Xbox Series X. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking into the channel. You can get this information anywhere, and I want to show my appreciation for choosing this video to get a breakdown on the new console. I've compiled an hour's worth of footage and gameplay to give you a digestible take on the new Xbox console. So if you appreciate this kind of content, hit the like and subscribe. Support the channel if you want to go the extra mile. And switch your YouTube player to full 4K60. Sit back and enjoy this news we've all been waiting for. The Xbox Series X is the next generation console for Microsoft's Xbox being boasted as the next world's most powerful and fastest console. The Xbox Series X is a tower form factor console, PC-like on the outside, PC-like in the components but built surprisingly like a traditional console, and stands as tall as the Xbox One X but twice as wide. The Xbox Series X has a memory configuration of 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM surrounding a 3.8 GHz AMD processor and 12 teraflop Navi GPU with 52 compute units showing performance comparable to Nvidia's RTX 2080, a $700 desktop graphics card. The performance target for the Xbox Series X is 4K at 60 up to 120 FPS where the Xbox One X was targeted to 4K30 with a stipulation of up to 60 FPS. This means that games will have no problem running at high resolution and high frame rates with all the improvements regarding lighting and physics, which we'll get to in just a moment. 10 gigabits of memory bandwidth at 560 gives a 66% increase from the Xbox One X, which is already capable of native 4K texture output in big AAA games. The new console comes with an integrated 1TB NVMe SSD with an expandable storage slot with proprietary SSD expansion with no bandwidth penalties. The expansions look to be very pricey if we look back at the increase in drive space throughout the generation of the Xbox 360. Load times are 40 times faster thanks to this integrated SSD with games loading in 8 seconds from the dashboard. External USB drives and SSD drives will be compatible with Xbox Series X, but only for legacy games from the Xbox One generation and older. You'll be able to download Series X games to the USB drive, but they must be moved to the internal drives to play on the new console. The Xbox Series X has a virtual memory pool paired with the SSD to hold most of the game in memory to speed up load times from a minute to seconds and keep performance high in-game. It also has efficiency built in that intelligently packs information and outputs only what is needed to boost compute two to three times, which all translates to faster performance into and inside of the game, loading times as well as frame rate speeds. Another benefit of the input and output pipeline is the quick resume feature. This gives the Xbox Series X the speed to boot up a game in seconds and it also allows you to have multiple games at the ready, just like tabs on your mobile phone. You'll no longer close a game to open another. In this demonstration, you can have four to five games sitting in the background, paused and all ready to return to within seconds. This is all in thanks to Velocity Architecture. A game will be sidelined on the SSD in memory and you can go back to it immediately while keeping the other games open. This means that the Xbox Series X holds some 40 to 50 gigabytes in virtual memory, something you just can't do on PC or you probably wouldn't want to. The Xbox Series X has a UHD 4K Blu-ray drive to play your disc-based games and movies. It will also support some 3,000 back compat games from the original Xbox all the way up to games being released on Xbox One today. 
The Back Combat software solution paired with super powerful hardware in the Xbox Series X sees mini games patch supported to full native 4K and 60 FPS in unlocked frame rate titles. Not only will backward compatible titles see visual and performance improvements, the Xbox Series X has a software API that will emulate HDR color gamut on games that were not built with the wider color and lighting array. Games like Halo 5 will see a visual benefit beyond just pixel counts. Hardware accelerated ray tracing is built into the chip and this is the first time we are seeing AMD's ray tracing not just on console but in practice in game. AMD's new DirectX supported hardware based ray tracing on Xbox Series X will see far less frame rate performance penalties than we first saw on Nvidia RTX tests over a year ago. Developers will have full access to realistic lighting and reflections in real time in their games and dynamic immersive audio thanks to Microsoft's Project Acoustics and hardware based 3D audio. The all new Xbox controller is forward and backward compatible with the Xbox One Xbox Series X and PC, and is slightly smaller than the Xbox One controller we have today, but much the same. Fans of batteries, rechargeables, and charging packs will be happy to see that the new Xbox Series X looks to have a battery well, and a USB-C port for faster charging and connections. The controller has a hybrid disc and directional D-pad, textured rumble triggers, and a dedicated share button rounds out the full-featured controller. The improvements do not stop with physical additions. The Xbox Series X has auto low latency built in to dramatically reduce latency between the wireless controller and your TV. The conflicts of V-Sync, frame buffers, and latency are no longer a problem as the API built into the Xbox Series X will allow developers to make the right choices that will reduce latency from your wireless controller to your big UHD TV. The Xbox Series X is a towering console with many of the luxuries of a high-end and top-performing desktop PC. It is designed to be strong, quiet, and unobtrusive with a super-fast processor, huge memory pool to push games to the player faster and more impressively than millions have ever seen before. It brings all of your Xbox One games with you and many of the legacy titles you played long before. It gives developers the power and tools they need to push the best looking games to the gamers that play them. Xbox Series X is also purpose ready for a long generation of high quality games, some coming from third party multi-platform studios and some games coming from the home of Xbox Game Studios. This is just the beginning. Next generation is coming, news is breaking and as Phil Spencer says, we are not stopping. There are a ton of questions that I'm sure I'll get after this and I'll try to field them right now. The first will be the price. I truly believe that the Xbox Series X will launch for $500 US dollars in early November 2020. I'll say that it's very possible that the price may be $600 but I'm betting on $500. I also truly believe that the launch of the console to retail will not be delayed due to the recent health issues around the globe. Hardware leads at Xbox are working tirelessly to deliver the production needs and deadlines months ahead of manufacturing which will likely begin around June of this year. If the Xbox has to be delayed to spring 2021, I think that Forza Motorsport 8 and Halo Infinite will be delayed to launch with the console as planned. Another question I get a lot is 4K60 and 120 FPS. 120 FPS will be reserved for racing games and smaller games that are less demanding, but 120 frames per second will be a viable frame rate on this console. Devs will push for dynamic 4K60 with ray tracing with no problems hitting those targets. Devs may put a visual mode option to turn off extras to give you native 4K60 and leave dynamic resolution for games with 60 FPS and all the high quality visuals like real time ray tracing. All of this is up to developers, not the console, and it's not up to Microsoft. Another question I get, or a comment, since this type of comment never really wants an answer, is, quote, what good is all that power without games, end quote. Xbox Game Studios is currently working on over 20 games for the Xbox Series X, and they plan to release four to five big games each year from now on. So as far as traditional exclusives, being on PC, that has been the MO for Xbox for over five years, so get over it or move on with the times. In fact, PlayStation is already warming up to the idea of putting some of their first party IPs 
on PC. On a brighter side, some 90% of the games that you could play on the PS4 or Xbox will be playable on Xbox Series X and will likely look and play better than the competition, even better than most people's PCs. In short, yes, Xbox Series X will have thousands of games, some of the best games, and with teams like Obsidian, Ninja Theory, and the Initiative Studios added to the family, expect some big new games for the big new console. This is Colt Eastwood, thank you so much for watching. This is a very exciting time for gamers, and especially for me. I'm thinking back right now, April 2017, when my channel was first getting started for Xbox content, and I reported on Digital Founders Reveal of Project Scorpio. Since then, I went from 1,500 subscribers to an amazing 85,000. I want to thank some 18 million of you that have watched my channel over the years and provided valuable feedback to make it better. If you enjoyed this video, understood the simple breakdown of information, like and share the video on social media. Subscribe if you're new here. I create content like this each and every week and try to show more than just gameplay. Turn the bell on if you want to be notified of new content. Supporters on Patreon and channel members can join for a few bucks and you'll get early access to the videos. Add me on Xbox and Twitter at Cold Eastwood if you have any additional questions or comments. Let me know what you think of Xbox Series X and I'll see you soon with additional news as it comes in. Otherwise, I'll see you in that comment section. The first day or two is really fantastic before anyone grumpy shows up, so stay out of arguments, be excited, and above all, be nice.